This episode of Around the Oval is brought to you by Todd Pennington with Revolution Mortgage. Hi, everyone. Alex Gleitman of BuckeyeScoop.com back with another edition of Around the Oval presented by Todd Pennington with Revolution Mortgage. Today, we have a very special guest with us, one of the few uh, prospects in America that Ohio State is still recruiting that isn't committed to the Buckeyes 2021 class already, uh, Indiana offensive lineman, current Louisville commit, Zen Mahalski. Zen, thanks for joining the show. How are you and your family doing, and how's your season going so far? I'm do- we're doing great. Me and my family, we're just hanging out. Very, Our season's going well, too, because I'm just blessed to be playing right now. Uh, with everything going on, we're all just uh, really happy about that. And my, yeah, my family's doing great. We're all kind of still just hunkering down with all the COVID stuff. But, um, yes, yeah, season's going great. Great to hear. And, you know, before we go into the recruiting stuff that I know a lot of people tuning in are going to be curious about, just I know from talking to a lot of people that, you know, you've made a pretty big jump from junior year to senior year as a, as a player. Um, talk to us a, about the work you put in between last year and this year you know, some of the weight you put on, what else, you know, you feel like you've improved on over the last year? Um, A lot, really. Um, So I had a conversation with my head coach around probably like right, right after our season about like, he was like, are you going to be wanting to play college football? Like you have the size for it. We just need to put weight on you and, you know, just keep working on your, um, your offensive line skills. And I was like, yeah, of course. So he challenged me to put on around 30 pounds and I was around 217 at the time. So that'd be, that put me like right at like 260-ish almost. But um, I got to that, <clears throat> I hit that really early in the off season and um, I just kept working on it. And whenever uh, we went into lockdown with COVID, I went over to my grandma's house with my dad and uh, just worked like nonstop with him. We did a lot of speed drills and footwork and stuff and just um, ate a lot of home cooked meals for my grandma. And then when I, when I left her house, I was probably around 288 and um, I felt much, much uh, more stable and quick with, I think just, we didn't have weights. So all we really worked on was like body weight stuff. And I think that helped more, like helped me kind of like when I put the weight on, I um, was more used to it, just doing all our sprinting drills and footwork and pass set and stuff. And we, I haven't been doing offensive line for very long at all. I, my last year was my first year playing offensive line ever and it was super fun so this offseason was a big big um help just getting to learn everything more yeah and, and what what's your current height and weight right now where are you at right now uh, around six six and a quarter and I'm probably around 279 I think is what I weighed in at at uh, practice the other day so it's doing a lot better with um with with online school I'm fully online just because of football so I can like eat and do whatever I want throughout the throughout the day and uh, get like as as much calories as I as I want. And so this year I've only lost like around eight nine pounds. But last year last year's season I started the season at two forty and like I said that regional game I was like two seventeen two fifteen. So it's it's a lot easier to keep weight on um, with online school. Yeah, and you know I think once you hit a college weight program, it's only going to get better and easier for you with those guys with training table and stuff like that and. You know, it's going to be, uh, it seems like you got some room to get to, you know, 300 plus and hold it pretty good and, and, and still be be able to move the way you do now. So um, that's certainly big. Oh, yeah, yeah. I um, I, I still feel like I'm a, not want to say maybe not scrawny, but I feel like to like sitting at 280, 66 and a quarter, I still feel like I'm like my legs could be so much bigger, my calf and my, just everything. I feel like it could be a lot bigger. And once I like get toned up and replace some of this fat with muscle, I feel like I could easily be around like, you know, that, like 320 something by my freshman year anywhere and just feel good about it feel good with the weight. Yeah. Sounds like a, a left or right tackle to me for sure at the college level. So, you know, speaking of college, uh, you committed to Louisville back in, uh, I think it was April. Um, talk to us about that decision. Uh, what led you to pick uh, the Cardinals? Um, just uh, a lot of talk with family and parents. And um, kind of just at that time when we when we did decide, it was kind of more like uh, COVID had shut absolutely everything down. That was when lockdown was still in place. And um, <clears throat> I wanted to go visit colleges. And before I made my, my decision, and at that time, it was like they had the dead period, like July 1st. So I was like, okay, maybe this is going to happen. And they pushed it back to August, or I mean, September. And I was like, no, 
or I think I might just want to make my decision now because it's, there's nothing to wait on other than my spot getting taken. So <clears throat> I made that decision. Um, and yeah, that's kind of why the coaches were awesome. The commits were awesome. And that's, I didn't, I hadn't, uh, didn't have a lot of offers either back then or at that time too. So that was like my big one that I wanted to take. Yeah, for sure. And I, you know, I know that, uh, things aren't getting much better as far as you being able to visit schools, like, and meet with the staff and then, um, you know, you weren't able to get to any camps or things like that because of everything going on, but you have gotten a lot of interest from, um, a number of programs of late, um, Ohio state, obviously being one of them who, who extended an offer a little bit ago. Tell us who are some of the new programs that have kind of jumped in either with offers or strong interest right now. Um, Ohio State, obviously, like we just said, Florida State jumped in um, last Saturday. Penn State has been really heavy on me now. Um, a couple other schools, but it's uh, I'm still kind of just focusing on my senior year and, you know, playing and just every week but getting better. And I, I put out film and stuff for coaches to see. Sorry for the kids screaming in the background, but <laughs> but I uh, just kind of focus on getting better every every day and just using my senior year to advantage just to like um like i'm still learning stuff about the offensive line like i think yesterday or tuesday my coach told me some stuff i had no idea like about pass set like i didn't know like um i forgot what i asked him but like i didn't know for example like when i'm pass setting i couldn't just put my arm out and like keep his outside shoulder with one hand i thought that was a hold for some reason so i never tried it and i it's yeah i'm still just learning a lot yeah, that's great. And, you know, I'm sure as you put more, put more film out there, you know, there's definitely going to be more schools interested, but, you know, we're here to talk about Ohio State a little bit. Uh, how did that, just tell me a little bit, how did that recruitment start? Uh, how often have you been in touch with the staff there? What coaches are you talking to the most? What have they been telling you? Just kind of give us the lowdown on, on your recruitment with Ohio State right now. Yeah, um, I talked to Coach Stud about every day, Coach Day, and uh, most of the coaching staff is always talking to me at some point. Uh, Coach Alford will call me at night sometimes and just give me just like a rundown of what's happening, how his day went, how my day went. We talked for a little bit. Um, they're all awesome guys. Coach Day especially is just, I mean, he's pretty much saved the Big Ten's football season, which is awesome. And they're, they're trying to fight for uh, visits to happen. And it, I just – I can't believe they push it back to January 1st because, like, um, it kind of just screws over all the early enrollees. Like, I didn't get to visit anywhere, not a single college. Yeah, it's it's a tough situation you guys are in. I think um, it's hard to make a decision that's going to potentially affect the rest of your life when, you know, you can't even go and see the school and meet meet these coaches in person. I mean, you're obviously committed to Louisville right now, and that's a great – opportunity for you if that's where you know it's all said and done but you also have one of the best programs in the country in Ohio State and you have Penn State and you have Florida State and you know I think you probably owe it to yourself to be able to see is Louisville definitely the right place for me or is one of these other places so I absolutely sympathize with you know what's going on with you guys who recruits at the same time you know I understand like obviously keeping you guys healthy keeping the coaches healthy and then obviously with the season now happening like they don't want everyone coming in from all over the country, being around the players and infecting the players potentially up to, to kind of ruin the season they fought so hard for. So it's kind of, I see both sides, but, you know, I, I definitely sympathize uh, with you guys. And I hope that they, they're at least able to work something out, um, you know, at some point here uh, before you guys have to sign. So, you know, uh, we'll see. As far as Ohio State goes as a program, I mean, it seems like your relationship with the coaches is pretty strong right now, but you know, you're a Midwest guy. I'm sure you've heard plenty about Ohio State growing up and things like that. What is your thoughts on them? What do you like about them, like the school, the university, and them as a program? Uh, everything right now, honestly, just the education is amazing. They, we talked about real life Wednesdays uh, on our virtual tour, and it was really cool just to see how much uh, they really care and put time into like making sure like if like obviously every college football player's like dream and goal after college is like, I want to go play in the NFL and make money. But if it doesn't happen, they, um, they get you set up for life pretty much with just a job, finding your job, having like, it's a very prestigious degree in, uh, in itself, which is awesome. I mean, the program, they're a national, uh, national championship contender almost every year. I don't know, like there's not much more you could ask for really. 
Yeah, definitely. And, you know, with no visits happening, uh, you mentioned you went on a virtual visit with them or virtual, you know, everyone's doing these Zoom calls or WebEx or whatever. Tell us a little bit, you know, what have they shown you there? And then is is getting to the campus and just driving around and looking around, even though you can't meet with the coaches, is that something that you you think you might try and do? Oh, yeah. Uh, that's something we've definitely thought about. And we're trying to think about what if we want to or when we want to and what's going to happen. But um on the, on the virtual tour is really cool because they just showed me everything with um, their business. Like I'm going for business and sales and <clears throat> they showed me everything with their business program, like what kind of jobs they could, like they could get me in with Nike or Under Armour, like a big corporation like that for sales too, which would be awesome. They showed me all their um, strength. The coach Mike, he walked me through all their strength, um, like the weight room and all that cool stuff and just showed me some transformations of players that he's had. Like Ezekiel Elliott, he put his out the other day, actually, that they were sending me. And it's just insane what he's done to some of these people, which is, I mean, I need that for sure. Coming in as like, I'm not, you know, I'm only like two, uh, like I said, 280 right now. So I'm not like a 320 pound high school player. So I definitely need that kind of development the right way. Yeah, definitely. Um, it's uh, Mickey Marotti is definitely one of the best in the business and seeing some of the to your point, like every year they put them out, like from freshman, sophomore, junior, senior, you see these guys, the way their body transforms. It's, it's pretty incredible. Um, so if you, you know, wherever you go, it's going to happen, but definitely if you go to Ohio State for sure. Um, with that said, you know, what's, what's your status with Louisville? Are you like a hundred percent locked in? It seems like you're open to considering other programs. Like when, you know, where's your head at there? And, and like, when do you expect to make, if you are open to other schools, like when do you expect to make like a, a final decision and, and when are you going to sign your letter of intent? I'm pretty strong with Louisville still. I just, I am open to other schools just because of how COVID has um, affected everything. Like it's really tough to say like, this is it right here. I want to go there hundred percent right now without really being able to base anything off any other schools. And like, um, I committed because it felt like the, it's like, it, it was the right decision then for me, but like, I do want to definitely, I'm keeping my options open just, just to make sure that I made the right decision and that, you know, like my, it, that I made the right decision for the rest of my life, you know, cause it's not about like just the next four, but the next 40 years with the education and everything and find the right job for me. Yeah. And so are you, are you planning to sign in the December period or are you going to wait till February? I mean, this year is kind of weird. Um, a lot of, most kids have been signing in December, but what's, what does it look like for you right now? Um, probably gonna, I'm definitely going to be an early enrollee. I've had my schedule set up and I, I need that extra time with like the program and the team to like build, build myself for the first year of wherever I am just to make sure that I'm um, the best I can possibly be for my freshman year. And just to, just having that extra time is nice to build off of really. And you, and you get spring ball, which is awesome. Yeah, for sure. And um, when you do sit down to make that final decision, what's going to be the most important factors for you and your family and, in, in saying either, you know, I'm going to stick with Louisville, I'm going to go to Ohio State, I'm going to go to Florida State, like what, what's going to be those deciding factors for you guys? Probably with visits being how they are right now, unless something changes, it'd probably be off of relationships with coaches and kids. Um, that's, I also, a big thing for me is making sure that when I get there, the coaches are going to leave in the year. And then I'm like with a new coach that hasn't recruited me. And that's a big thing to me. So kind of just relationships with those coaches, making sure it's going to be a stable place that like, it's not going to be a coaching change every two years. You know what I mean? Um, obviously academics is a big thing to me and all that. So uh, last thing I wanted to ask you was, um, you know, whoever gets you, Louisville, Ohio State, Florida State, Penn State, someone else, what are they getting on and off the field? And then what are some of the things you still hope to work on uh, before you get to college? I think that um, wherever I go, I think they'll be getting a very moldable and open player to change and whatever I need to do. I'm, um, when I started off at line last year, my coaches, I never liked talking about myself like in a good way, but like I, my coaches last year always said that I was extremely coachable and I kind of just would do whatever I need to do for a coach. If they tell me, I, I'm not going to argue with anybody about anything about, because I don't, because they obviously know better than you. So why not just like listen and do what you're supposed to, or told to do. But 
I think they're going to get like an athletic big man that can play wherever on the on the line. I'm cool with guard, tackle, like honestly anything. I tried tight end my sophomore year, but that failed epically. <laughs> so, um, but yeah, what was what was the other question? Yeah, just uh, you know, what do you what do you hope to work on? Um, you know, before you get to college and before you hit the field next fall for you know one of those big time universities. Uh, just fundamentals. I really want to get better with feet and um, just pass setting too is a big thing that like I've always struggled with. Pass setting is just weird to me because we uh, at my school, we don't do two point stances or anything. We always start in a three point with like we're very kind of old school. So pass setting has always been weird. I kind of am still working on that. I want to work on just being quicker and like more, I guess, quicker in a sense of like if we're doing like zone or I mean, uh, uh, jet or outside zone or anything. I just want to be quicker and more fluid with like just my movements and my steps and making sure that my technique is like just muscle memory and perfect every time. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, you know, I'm sure you'll get there. Seems like you got the right work ethic, the right attitude. And, um, you know, again, once you, as you said, you're still learning. So the, the, the sky seems to be the limit to you uh, or for you. And uh, I think once you get, you know, coached up by, whoever it is that you play for at the next level, um, you know, you're going to be a great player in no time. So uh, we appreciate the time. Um, thanks for joining the show and best of luck in your decision-making process here the rest of the way. No problem. Thank you so much. This episode of Around the Oval was brought to you by Todd Pennington with Revolution Mortgage. If you've been thinking about refinancing or buying a house, check out our sponsor, Todd Pennington with Revolution Mortgage. They offer low rates for refinancing and home purchase loans, including first-time home buyer programs, down payment assistance, and cash-out home equity loans. Check out revolutionmortgage.com slash tpennington.